with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the desert, and he remained in the desert for 40 days, tempted by Satan. He was among wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. First of all, just a word of gratitude for your patience last weekend. When the temperature in Erie is 15 degrees below zero, the last thing you want to see happen is the boiler in the church blow up, but it did. But there's also a lesson in this for all of us, because no matter how difficult or dark something can become in life, it can always be worse. If you saw the pictures of the flames shooting out of that thing in the basement of this building, Thank God someone was in here and they were able to turn everything off because we could have lost this entire building. You've just heard Mark's account of the temptation in the desert and it is very typical of Mark. Mark is the earliest and the briefest of the gospel. All Mark says is that Jesus was tempted by Satan. We have to go to Matthew and to Luke to get the fuller story of how Satan took him to the parapet of the temple took him high on a mountain overlooking the kingdom of the world, etc. Barcelona, Spain, is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. It sits on the Mediterranean with an incredible harbor. There's a huge statue of Christopher Columbus. And then the main street is called the Romblos. It would probably be as wide as the section from French Street to Holland Street. It's shaded with huge shade trees to protect people from the heat of the Mediterranean sun and it's lined with nothing but cafes and restaurants. It's a pedestrian way. There are no cars on the Romblos. And there are thousands of people sitting outside having a glass of wine, a sangria, a cup of coffee, whatever. There's laughter, there's music. You walk about 20 blocks and you come to a traffic circle and then the traffic begins. But if you continue on the Romblos all the way to the end, you come to the foot of a mountain called Tibi Dabo. You take the funicular up to the top of the mountain, and when you get up there, there's a broad, broad plaza. On the back of it is a magnificent little church to the Sacred Heart, a Gothic building. Over on this side is a carnival. There's a Ferris wheel, there's a merry-go-round. Kids are squealing and laughing, there's music playing. Over on this side is a whole line of cafes and restaurants, hundreds of tables sitting out front people sitting, having a drink, sharing a meal, enjoying one another. There's always music, people dancing on the plaza. And if you turn around, there's the city of Barcelona before you, and it's a magnificent sight. The blue Mediterranean is in the background, the cruise ships are anchored. It's incredible. The Barcelonians called that mountain Tibi Dabo, which is Latin for all this I give you because they contend in the pride they have for their city that the only place Satan could have taken Jesus to tempt him enough to renounce his sonship would be overlooking the city of Barcelona. <clears throat> and when you get situated in the middle of that square, it is Catholicism at its absolute finest. There's the church, children full of life and vigor, people sharing with one another, dancing, laughing. It's what gets us through the dark things of life. Catholicism is incarnational. Jesus entered into human history and made us good and made everything in this world good. And so we take things of nature like bread and wine and they become our mainstay. For Catholics, the great celebration is Christmas because Christ entered the world and made the world good. For Protestants, the great celebration is Easter because we're all sinners and only Jesus can lift us out of that sin. But that Catholicism is a great, great way to live life. The problem is we've messed it all up. We've filled it with laws, with rules, with regulations, and with guilt. 
but at its finest, it's an incredible way to live life. You've heard me before quote Belloc, the French poet. Wherever a Catholic sun doth shine, there's plenty of laughter and good red wine. At least I've always found it so. Bene dicamus domino. Bene dicamus domino, Latin for let us bless the Lord. Listen to those words because it captures the essence. Wherever a Catholic sun doth shine, there's plenty of laughter and good red wine. At least I've always found it so. Bene dicamus domino. Amen.